I believe that nationalism is the most powerful political ideology in the world. Uh, I believe it's no accident that we live in a world that's populated with nation states. Uh, I would add to you that I would add that I, I think that the United States is a thoroughly nationalist country. Americans are very nationalistic. Uh, when you hear Americans talk about American exceptionalism, American exceptionalism is American nationalism at play. When Madeleine Albright, who is a card-carrying liberal, says that we are the indispensable nation, we stand taller, we see further, just think about those words, we, we, as opposed to the other, we stand taller, we see further, that means we are superior to other, there's American exceptionalism. Madeleine Albright is saying we Americans, we as a nation state have the right, we have the responsibility, and we have the power to run around the world and reorder the politics in different countries in a liberal way. But that's very nationalistic thinking. Very important to understand that, okay? Now, why do I believe that nationalism is more powerful than liberalism? For one very simple reason, having to do with human nature. You have to decide, when you think about human beings, whether you think they're social animals at their core who carve out space for their individualism, or you think they're individuals who form social contracts. That's the $64,000 question you have to ask yourself. Liberalism assumes, liberalism assumes that we are individuals at our core who form social contracts. Nationalism assumes we are tribal from the get-go. We are born into nations, we are born into social groups, we are born into tribes, and we carve out space for our individualism. Liberalism is wrong and nationalism is right. We are tribal animals, right? We belong to groups and we have tremendous loyalty to those groups. This is not to say we can't carve out room for our individualism, right? but we're social animals. So, when you get the United States of America going into a country like Iraq, or Vietnam, or the Soviets going into Afghanistan, nationalism is automatically going to come to the fore in that country you have invaded. Because those people are going to say, we are a sovereign nation state. We believe in self-determination. We do not want the United States coming in and telling us what to do. And think about how we react to the Soviet, excuse me, the Russians interfering in our elections. They do not have any right, we believe, to interfere in an American election. It's a violation of our sovereignty. That's nationalism at play. Nationalism dominates liberalism. 